early. I just got here. Uh, where are you? Hey, I am. Um, I actually already left. I'm sorry. I figured you forgot. No, I didn't forget. I just set my clock to the wrong time, so I got here late, and everybody was driving so slow. Ugh, I swear. Once the holidays come around, my whole life just gets worse. It's all right, Jules. It's no big deal. Don't take it out on Christmas. <sighs> you know Christmas has never been good to me. Well, maybe this year will be different because you're already forgiven and I'm on my way back into town right now. <sighs> back to the same boring town doing the same thing over and over again. Hey, we don't all dream of living a wild life like you, okay? I love our small town. I know. Ugh, Maggie, I still feel terrible. I really owe you one. How about coffee's on me later? Oh yes, then I can tell you about my trip. Deal. Okay, I gotta go to work. Bye. Uh, I'm sorry, jerk. Wait, I didn't catch your name. Christmas is here. Too much food. Too much wine, star on the tree will shine. The family's here to dine. Christmas is here. Films on the TV, make up your mind. Santa's on his way tonight. Hello. Hi, how can I help you? Yes, I would like to purchase a car. We don't sell cars here. We can rent you one to drive to your destination. Right. Well, I would like that then. Fantastic. I will help you find one. Perfect. And I was hoping to purchase an associate as well to bring my bags around. You can't buy people, sir. Yes, right. Um, how would one obtain their luggage then? A baggage claim, sir. Oh yes, baggage claim. And where might that be? Ah. Oh. Sorry, your car. Right. Right. Your total will be 158.64 if you'd like to include insurance. No problem. Money is no object. Let's see here. This. Yeah. Very bad. 
bad at math. Huh. Hope that's enough. Um, here. I find that money is the only language that everyone seems to understand. A universal common denominator, if you will. No matter where you go, everyone seems to understand money. Anyway, I hope this should suffice. I only need this. Right, thanks. Thank you very much and um, have a happy holiday. Hello. You cannot do this! You cannot do this, Ri Rich... Richard! Richard! It is simply not done! I need some time to think, to clear my head. You are a prince, Richard! You cannot just leave! You have responsibilities here, and furthermore, you have absolutely no protection there! If somebody finds out who you are, they won't. I have a disguise. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'll be fine, and I'll call in a few days. I cannot believe it! How do I work this thing? I assure you, Dr. Nygaard, this will be everything you ask for and more. I think I really captured her beauty. Okay, sounds good. And I think I can get it to you by Christmas Eve. All right, see you then. Bye. Take your time. Raising this time of year. Oh, I appreciate you waiting. Oh, now how can I? Richard! Aunt Edna. Well, this is a surprise. Well, I'll say. What happened to your accent? Oh, I don't know. I suppose it just slipped away when I wasn't looking. How did you get here? I flew. Well, my plane did. I'm here on royal business. But where are your guards? They let me come alone. Oh, <laughs> they don't know you're here, do they? No, and I need a place to stay for the night. I was hoping you could help me in that department, seeing as how you're in this gorgeous inn. Oh, well, let me see. Anything you have would be appreciated. I'm sorry, Richard. We are all booked up. The holidays are the busiest time of year for us. Right, of course. But I do know someone who might be able to help. Hello? Hello, Jules! Hi, Edie. I've been meaning to stop by. I... Oh, this isn't about that, dear. I have a favour to ask you. Oh. All right. A family member is visiting from out of town, and I didn't know they were coming until today. And unfortunately, the inn is all booked. Do you think you could open up your guest home to put him up for a few days? Of course, Edie. Anything for you. Well, good, because he's already at the house dropping his things off. Uh, Edie? Oh, I know, I know. I gave him my spare, but I told him to come right back into town Actually, because you will be giving him a full tour. Actually, I was just on my way to the cafe to meet Maggie. I am starving. Perfect! He said he would meet you there for lunch anyway. He should be there in about 20 minutes. <sighs> All right, but I'm only doing this because I love you. Oh, I love you too, Jules. Thank you, dear. 
No problem. Bye. Doo -doo -doo. So, Julie, how are things with you? You know, same old, same old. I just finished a commission. I have three more lined up after Christmas. That's amazing! Yeah, I guess. I got a long way to go before I can go on my Europe trip. You'll get there. Yeah, eventually. How are you and what's his name? David. David. We actually broke up not too long after you left on your trip. Oh. Oh my gosh, Jules, I'm so sorry. It's fine. It wasn't going anywhere anyway. I swear I am giving up on men and dating. I'm never gonna find my prince. Come on! <laughs> Don't be like that! What if this guy you're about to meet is really hot? And you guys hit it off. You can finally be that cute couple at the Christmas carnival like you always wanted. Oh my God, he is not going to be hot. I swear, that kind of stuff only happens in... Movies. Oh my god, he's gorgeous. I know. Oh my god, he's coming this way. Don't say anything. <sighs> Hello. Uh, pardon me. Um, are you on Ennis' friend, perchance? I am. Well, what a pleasant surprise. The woman I'm supposed to meet, I've... Already met. Huh? Oh my gosh, that was you. Indeed. Wait. Do you guys know each other? Sort of. Um, Maggie, this is... Principal Richard. I am a principal at a real school with children. Uh, not too far from here. A little far. Out of the country, actually. This is Principal Richard. Oh. I'm Maggie. Coffee barista Maggie. Julie's best single friend. Chomped. Oh. And, uh, how do you guys know each other? Oh, well, we bumped into each other at the airport. Quite. Literally, I accidentally ran into her, made her spill coffee all over herself. Hot chocolate. It was hot chocolate. It was hot chocolate. Yeah, I see. Well, um, I got what I came here for, so I will leave you two alone then. It was so nice meeting you, Principal Richard. The pleasure is all mine. Um, may I? Please. He's so hot! Well, I have to say, I'm quite glad to see you. Why is that? Well, now I have a chance to formally apologize. Formally apologize! Because of your, cause of your accent. It's no big deal, I'm over it. <laughs> yes, well, in any case, I am awfully sorry and incredibly grateful for you offering to take me in. Yeah, well, I would do anything for Edie. Regardless, I am still thankful. The crown owes you a debt of gratitude. Crown? Uh, town. <laughs> this town owes you a debt of gratitude. I was planning on sleeping on a park bench or something, and 
I sleep in the nude. Okay, you're welcome, I guess. Hi, what can I get you? Yes, I will get the BLT. No bacon, no lettuce, no tomato with PB&J, please. So PB&J? No. And what about you? Yes. Um, I will have... Uh, I'll have what she's having. Okay, so that'll be one BLT. No bacon, no lettuce, no tomato with peanut butter and jelly. And a PB&J. Thank you. Thank you. Where did you say you were from again? It's the holidays. It's time for the holiday. Holidays. Can't believe we made it through the May. The moon is a rather small country, actually. There's about 40,000 people. But what we lack in numbers, we make up for in hard work and lots of heart. Wow. That sounds really nice. It is. Till it isn't. I had to step away to have my own little holiday. Just get a break from it all. So you're on vacation? Yes, you could, you could say that. I imagine being in America is a lot different than from where you're from. Yes and no. The people are different. The food is unfamiliar. But here I feel at ease. Yep, vacation will do that. And what about you? What is your story? I hardly know you. I'm not going to tell you. Fair enough. I'm just a small town girl. I've lived here all my life. I'm an artist. I love to paint. And I don't know why I'm telling you all this. You're a stranger. Well, then, how'd you know my aunt? She basically raised me. She was my foster mom and took care of me for a while before finally adopting me. I didn't have anybody before her. Wow. That must have been so hard. I can't imagine. We're here. Thank you again for driving, by the way. I don't know where that ditch came from that swallowed up my car. It's fine. Wow, this is lovely. It's not much, but it's home. Where are your Christmas decorations? Oh, I'm not that into Christmas. Oh, pity. I love Christmas. Yeah, I mean, Christmas is just a typical time for me. Hmm. It's a long story with a lot of painful memories. I don't want to talk about it. All right. My mom died. She accidentally killed herself in a boating accident. My dad went out to try and save her, but he didn't know how to swim, so he drowned. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. A boating accident. Yeah. And I'm sorry, what is the relation to Christmas? It was a Christmas boat. It's okay. So anyway, that's why I don't like to celebrate Christmas anymore because it reminds me that I'm all alone. This is a cool mug. So this is the guest house and this is where you will sleep. And I'll be right in the main house if you need anything. Actually, my aunt mentioned you might take me on a tour. Oh, right. I was hoping to take you up on that offer. I'd love to see more of your town. Yeah, so the thing is, I actually have to work. So, perfect. So, off to work then, tomorrow? Uh, okay. Yeah, that's that good. That's good. Every, yeah, that's fine. 
It's a date. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I don't want to give you the wrong idea. I'm actually not looking to date right now because I'm just not ready to date other people. Not like I'm not good at dating other people. I can do that. I'm just like trying to learn how to do it with myself, but not like do it with myself. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's just an expression. I'm under no impression that this is a date date. Okay, right, yeah, sorry. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Right, good night. Stupid. Dumb! He must be dealt with at once! But sir, we have no idea where he went. We do! He left behind these! There are hundreds of them crumpled up in his room. We know where he is. We just need someone to go get him. Ah, oh, Lord Hastings, perfect timing. Lord Dashwood, you may go. I need you to retrieve my son. He's left for America. I don't care how you do it, but get him back. Sir, I'm flattered, but I do have important matters to attend to. This is the only matter you have to attend to. Now, as his advisor, I am sure you won't have any trouble convincing him to return. You leave on the first flight to America in the morning. Yes, your majesty. Now leave me. I have several papers to look over. Sorry, um, have you been waiting here long? Oh no, just three hours. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready, let's go. Thank you for showing me around. Although I don't believe I needed to see the dump, as you call it. Well, there's just not that much to show you, but I did save the best for last. This is our town park. I used to love coming here as a kid, but I don't really come here that much anymore. You okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just a little jet lagged. Um. You don't seem like you're attached to this town all that much. I mean, I love this town. But... I want to travel. See another part of the world. Get out of this bubble. I feel like I'm wasting my life here. And don't get me wrong, I love being near my friends and Edie. They're my family. But... I can't help but feel like I'm meant for something bigger. Like I'm meant for something more than just being a talented artist. You know? Careful what you wish for. Having a greater destiny is what it's all cracked up to be. And you would know because... Let's just say I'm used to a great responsibility with a lot of people depending on me. One slip up can mean disaster. It's like, if I try my best and I fail, I'll never forgive myself. Wow, I didn't know it was that intense being a principal. Yes, it's hard to be principal. And by being here, how's that helping? I don't know, I guess it's not 
but it's allowed me to have some perspective. Seeing what life is like without all the responsibility. And it's freeing. But it's not fulfilling me in the way I thought it might be. Sounds like perspective is exactly what you needed. Yes. And perhaps that's what you need as well. What? Some perspective. Do something different. Try something new. It might help. I mean, I guess. But how do I do that? I think I know just the thing. Okay, close your eyes. Okay. Now, open. Ta-da! No! Yes! This is Christmassy. I don't do Christmas. This is just the first step toward embracing the Christmas spirit, which may be exactly what you need to gain perspective. Now come here. I already set out the ingredients. Okay. Okay, let's see. I have the recipe right here. And that? a whisk? Are you serious? Oh my god. I don't know. What to do. Alright, the recipe calls for five eggs, two cups flour, three cups sugar, um, mm -hmm. one VCR, two ping pongs, and three yellow. I'm not sure why, but it is the family recipe, so I am not going to question it. Okay, let's do it. This looks like a completely different home. Yeah, you could say that. You want some cookies? You read my mind. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with you today. I definitely feel like I'm in the Christmas mood and... Hey, maybe we should even make some more cookies on Christmas Eve to leave for Santa. Or... Oh. We could just eat them all ourselves. They're so delicious. <laughs> or we could leave them for Santa. Right, but Santa's not real. Yeah, okay. He's not. Um, my parents told me he was, so I think they would know more about Santa than you do, genius. Hmm. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, I'm glad I did this. And I think, I think it's what my dead parents would have wanted. I think it's what your dead parents would have wanted as well. It's getting late. I should get to bed. Right, right, I should do the same. Hey, I don't know if you'd be interested, but my town does this annual Christmas carnival and it's not really my thing, but I just figured because you love Christmas so much, you might want to go with me. I would absolutely love to. Great, it's a date, a real one this time. <laughs>
So, how are things going with you? Things are going good. I just finished up some commissions. I did a little cleaning around the house and did some decorating. You seem like you're in a good mood. Do I? This doesn't... Hey! <laughs> Cry, baby. <laughs> Can you keep it down? This doesn't have anything to do with Principal Richard, does it? I don't know. Maybe. What? Oh my god, has anything happened? <sighs> okay. We almost kissed. You kissed? Almost. We, we almost kissed. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I think he might be the one. But you've only known him for two days. <sighs> it feels like a lifetime. I don't know, I can't explain it. When we're together, I share things with him that I've never been able to share with anybody before. Like how you want to travel? Well, yeah, but like, like other things, like other things too. Jules, this makes no sense. You don't know him at all. I mean, what if he's harboring some huge secret about himself that could change your relationship and how you feel about him? Maggie, that's dumb. Okay, he's just a principal. He's got nothing to hide. Lord Hastings, what are you doing here? It's over, your majesty. Oh, of course I made that. Eerily accurate. Your father, King Charles, demands that you return at once. I can't. You are commanded to, as dictated by your king. No, you don't understand. I've met someone. She's incredible. She's made me feel things these past few days I haven't felt in years. I refuse to give that up. If you don't come with me, your highness, I'm afraid we will take matters into our own hands. And what is that supposed to mean? The king himself will come to get you. Your daddy, your highness. So be it. Doesn't the carnival start at six? One minute, I'm almost done. I would hate to be late. Okay, close your eyes. Okay, open. What do you think? Absolutely stunning. Now, uh, let me just go to the bathroom, then we can go. something like this back home. You know, every year I never understood why people love this carnival so much, but now I know. <laughs> it looks like someone's finally gone into the Christmas spirit. We should spend Christmas together so I could show you proper Lemony and Christmas. I would love Richard! to- Richard! Father? <laughs> I told you. But that's not possible. I just spoke with Lord Hastings two hours ago. 
Anything is possible if you just believe. Richard, I've had enough of your foolishness. You must come with me at once. Richard, what's going on? Nothing, nothing. Father, I'm not coming with you. You can't possibly think that I'm going to let some woman get in the way of you becoming king. You have a responsibility, not only to me, but to our family and to our country. King? What is he talking about? Who are you? <sighs> I guess the secret's out. The truth is, I'm a prince. Prince of Lemonia. And back in my country, I'm soon to become king. You're a prince? This changes everything. But I'm still Richard. I just have wealth and riches. You can have anything you want. But you lied to me. I had to. It was for my own protection. I'm a prince. Yeah, you're the prince. I'm alive. Julie. <laughs> this is nonsense, Richard. Do you even know her last name? You will come with me at once. Lord Hastings will bring your things. so late. I hit a lot of traffic on the way down and I guess I just didn't realize that there'd be so many cars on the road today with the holiday and everything. I guess everyone just has somewhere to be. Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas. I'm so glad you decided to come. I've got some hot cocoa here for you. No thanks. I'm okay. Something wrong dear? You always love hot cocoa. It's nothing, I'm fine. You know, I can always sense when something is wrong. It's your dead parents, isn't it? No, I mean, yeah, that too, but there's more. Hmm. You lost your job. Everyone hates you and they refuse to buy your paintings. No, not that. Ah, I see. Does this have something to do with Richard leaving? You mean Prince Richard? Oh, that. Yeah, I mean, you didn't tell me he was royal. Does that mean you're royal too? Oh, I was a princess once. Why did you leave? Well, it was never the life I wanted. I wanted a quiet, simple life. Luckily, I had two older brothers in line for the throne, and that allowed me to come here, begin my own life, buy my inn. Just like that? Well, no. It was difficult to leave family. But they wanted me to be happy. I still talk to them and visit them every so often. Well, not recently. Not in the past ten years or so. But this is what I wanted. And Richard? Uh, Prince Richard? Can he leave? <laughs> oh, no. He has no other siblings. He's in line for the throne. He has to become king. I just... I can't believe it. 
This whole time I was talking to a prince and I never suspected a thing. I don't know why he didn't tell me. <sighs> Sometimes it's hard to trust the person you care for the most. You fear that by being seen for who you truly are, it will push them away. Or he just doesn't like you. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. He's gone now anyway, and I'll never see him again. Never say never. Justin Bieber. So you think I should go to him? Just like that? What if he doesn't want to see me? You're right. I should go to him. I love him and I want to be with him. Okay. Hi. Merry Christmas. How can I help you? Can I get a one-way ticket to Lamonia, please? Okay, Lamonia. It looks like we have one flight leaving in 20 minutes. Um, okay, okay, I'll take it. Okay, and do you need tickets for your family, for your husband? Um, no, just one ticket, please. <gasps> oh, all alone for Christmas? Oh, that's so sad. Um, no, uh, I'm actually gonna meet somebody. That's why I'm in a hurry, so I'm not gonna be alone. A boyfriend? No. A lover? No. Oh, I get it. You're gonna meet somebody? You're alone. Your secret's safe with me. And your ticket is going to be $2,000. $2,000? That's all the money I have. Look, it's the holidays, and since you're gonna be all alone for Christmas, I'm not gonna be alone, so. All alone, by yourself, crying. Why don't I give you a discount? Your total will be $1,980. Oh my God, okay, fine. Okay, and will you be paying with cash or card? Card. Sorry, sir, I... <sighs> what are you doing here? We were about to leave, but father learned what American hamburgers tasted like, so we delayed the flight another week. But what about you? What are you doing here? I just came here to, um, to formally apologize. Look, I'm really, really sorry. And I just wanted to say that I don't care that you're a prince because I, I love you. Judy, Julie, Julie. I love you with all my heart. Will you marry me? But we've never even kissed. I know. Yes! But what about you being king? What about your dad? Well, it's like you said. You're not attached to being here. Now it's time to explore what's outside of this small town. Come with me to Limonia. You could be my queen and we will live forever! You are now my princess. And you're my prince. And I'm so lucky to have a Christmas prince for a royal Christmas.
Supposed to be with the youths all this evening too.